And welcome everybody to another edition of the GSMC Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. As always, I'm your host Kenneth Grunfelder and it's great to have you guys here on this Friday, April 12th. We have a lot to talk about on the show today. Before I get into that, just want to remind you guys, as always, to tip or donate and get your comments recognized, make sure to go to the following link. That is gsmcpodcast.net. Again, that really helps the show, makes the show more interactive between myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers. Again, that is gsmcpodcast.net. And as always, it is displayed on the ticker at the bottom of the show segment down below. So with that being said, let's get into what we are going to talk about for today. So first two segments, we're going to talk about two first ballot Hall of Fame quarterbacks. We're going to talk about Tom Brady and his comments on a potential return to the NFL playing-wise. And in the second part of the show, we'll also talk about Aaron Rodgers and his comments on coming back after the Achilles injury. Made another appearance on a podcast, so I wanted to talk about some of the stuff he had to say. Then in the third part of the show, we'll talk about Montez Sweat of the Chicago Bears talking about wanting to turn the tides against the Packers and this rivalry. So we'll get into that. And then the final part of the show, a couple things I wanted to touch upon. The Browns restructuring Nick Chubb's contract as well as Geno Smith and his comments going into the 2024 season. So, with that being said, let's get into the first topic, which is talking about Tom Brady and a potential comeback in the works, or maybe not. So, he made an appearance on a podcast. A lot of guys are making appearances on podcasts. And hey, that gives us content to talk about things that they say. So yeah, in in an appearance in an appearance on the Deep Cut podcast, he stated that he is not opposed to making a comeback to the NFL if a team suffers an injury to its quarterback and reaches out to him. And he compared this potential scenario to Michael Jordan returning to basketball. Um, He also mentioned potential teams like the 49ers, the Patriots, and the Raiders as possible destinations. But the one thing that could prevent him from coming back is the fact that he is a part-time owner. But once that all gets figured out and finalized with the Raiders, because, you know, he's going to be a part-time owner. And if that ends up going through, um, the owners could vote against him coming back if he, you know, wanted to come back. And also at the same time, he is going to be with Kevin Burkhardt in the booth for Fox next season calling games so he's got a lot going on but like i said did not rule out the possibility of coming back so wanted to go over a couple of things that he had to say uh, directly so he said i'm not opposed to it i don't know if they are going to let me if i become an owner of an nfl team which is the raiders i'm also i'm always going to be in good shape which i believe him i'll always be able to throw the ball so to come in for a little bit like mj coming back I don't know if they would let me, but I wouldn't be opposed to it. And like I said, named a few teams that it could be a possibility. And yeah, like I said, he also plans to begin work as a sports broadcaster at Fox Sports this summer. Again, he's going to be opposite of Kevin Burkhart when the season starts next season. So I'm curious to see how he is going to be in the booth. But yeah, and then... At one point in the podcast, he also said, my career and all that, that's a thing in the past in my mind. I was a gladiator out there, and now my time has moved on. Now it's okay. How can I deliver for my next group of teammates? I mean, with him simply just saying he's not opposed to coming back, he still misses playing. He still misses playing. Because that was his whole life. And I did see a recent interview. Well, not a recent interview, but I did see a clip of an interview from, like, what was it, I think it was like 2005 of him talking about, you know, what it would be like post his career and how he was like uh, terrified of that. But it's here, and he's doing a lot. He's going to become a part-time owner, perhaps some ownership of of an NFL team, as well as being a broadcaster. So he's really living it up. But I think he's still, but he still misses playing 100%. But for him to come back, it's got to be the right situation. If like I think he could go step into the 49ers quarterback position role and 
be successful because of the amount of playmakers he would have around him and the defense, of course. It's got to be the right situation. Now, again, he said if an injury happens, so Brock Purdy would have to get hurt. Now, I don't want to see Brock Purdy get hurt. I don't want to see anybody get hurt. I mean, I've, I've been very vocal on injuries, and nobody likes injuries, but it they happen. And you saw how many quarterbacks got hurt last season. So Brady could have came back last year and pulled Joe Flacco. I think that's I think that's something else he said too is that he doesn't. It's got to be something like again, quarterback gets injured, something that you know he could come in late in the season because that's exactly what Flacco did. And Flacco played really well for the Browns, and they got to the playoffs. Again, didn't end how the Browns wanted it to with the Texans defeating them, but. Still, I mean, that was a, that was a storyline for weeks, how Flacco was playing with the Browns. So, I, I mean, I, I think Brady could do that, but I, I think, like he said, it's it's a thing of the past, his playing career, but he's still open to it. And like he said, he's, he's always in good shape, and he's always throwing, and I believe him 100%, because football is just a part of his DNA, and... That, that, that's always going to be a part of him. But, yeah, maybe, you, you know, you close the chapter on that. Now you're doing other things. So, I, I'd, it, it's, it's not going to happen, but that doesn't mean that he doesn't miss playing. He absolutely misses playing. And he's definitely better than some quarterbacks that are still playing. But... Again, it has to be the right situation. Like, you can't go to a team that's, you know, trying to find a quarterback themselves. And, you know, like, if he went to a team like, if he went to the Giants right now, like, he, he wouldn't be good. It's got to be the right situation. I mean, the th well, the Patriots, they're kind of rebuilding. The Patriots, it makes sense because, you know, that was his home for 20 years. And, you know, I, I don't think he, well... I mean, he did mention other teams, but yeah, I mean, that's that's the one, the thing you could say is he was with the Patriots forever. That's why he'd want to go back there. But right now, the Patriots are not a great team on paper. They got a lot of things they got to work out with on the on the offensive side of the ball. I mean, defensively, I think you know they'll still be fine, but the 49ers, that would be the best spot for him, and. I talked about this on a previous show. Kyle Shanahan reached out to Tom Brady before the season and said, hey, you know, we'd, how would you like to, you know, maybe play for us? Because, you know, Brock Purdy's still recovering from the elbow injury, you know, didn't know how he was going to be. You know, you let Purdy sit behind Brady for a year. And that could have been possible, but Brady said no. But... Yeah, it's a, it's a thing of the past, and, uh, you know, especially, like, at his advanced age of, what is he now? He's 45, 46 years old. So, again, has to be the right situation. I think it would have been better off for him had he retired after the 2021 season. But, yeah, I, yeah, so, yeah so he's 46. Yeah, he should have retired after the 2021 season because... That was a great year for him. And they lost to the Rams. They almost pulled off that incredible comeback. If he would have retired then, that would have been fine. But to go out like he did, losing to the Cowboys for the very first time, and the Bucks finished 8-9 and nine on the season, yeah, he retired a year too late. But again, I mean, it's not all of his, it's not all his fault that the Bucks finished 8-9, and nine, but... Yeah, probably would have been better off if he retired after 2021 when he played like an MVP. And many people said he should have won the MVP in 2021 over Aaron Rodgers. And you could definitely make that case because he had a really good year. I think he had like 43 touchdowns that season. Played really well. And I honestly thought like I, I thought the Bucs were going to somehow make it back to the Super Bowl. But 
you know, they went up against the Rams. And uh, the Rams stopped them. And give the Bucks for credit for almost coming back. And pulling off the comeback, but... Um, yeah, that was like that was his last really good year. Yeah, so what did he have? He had Yeah, so he had 43 touchdowns to 12 interceptions in 2021 with the Bucks. And then of course when they won the Super Bowl, he had 40 touchdowns to 12. Yeah, and, and those two years are in between his final year in New England when he had 24 touchdowns to 8 interceptions and then in 2022 what did I, wait, what did I say? I said, well, I meant 2019. I, don't th I think I said 2022. 2022 with the Bucks, 25 touchdowns and 9 interceptions. And then 2019, he had 24 touchdowns to 8 interceptions his last year in New England. And then in between that, 40 to 12, 43 to 12. Put up really good numbers his first two, year in Tampa, first two years in Tampa. But his final year, you know, the offensive line wasn't very good. Uh, there was no more Bruce Arians. Um... Yeah, so I, I think he would have been better off. I mean, I, I said he should have came back. I, I, I said that because I'm like, he can still play. I mean, he should come back. but And also, there was no Gronk his final year either. So, but, yeah, kind of retired a year too late. But, again, I, I think, like I said, he can still play, I feel like. But, it's got to again, it's got to be the right situation. So, but... I, I think he's it's not it's it's not gonna happen, but he does have the door cracked open a little bit. So we'll see. We'll keep an eye on it because, like I said, there was a ton of quarterback injuries in 2023, and if that's if something similar like that happens in 2024. And it's the right situation, then maybe we see Brady suit up again. So, but right now, it's focused on the Raiders and being a broadcaster. And again, like I said, I'm curious to see how he is going to be in the booth. Because he's an incredible football mind, knows the game. But how is that going to be now being a color guy? on an NFL broadcast. I mean, again, like, I think he's going to provi provide great insight. But let's see how it is. I don't think, I mean, some people think he's going to be bad. Some people think he's going to be really good. But we'll find out. Maybe he's going to be the next Tony Romo, where he's just going to predict every play. And now, again, uh, now this is from a broadcaster standpoint. This is not from a quarterback standpoint because we know Tom Brady's resume. I mean, Romo does not stack up to that at all. But just saying, you know, when Tony Romo first broke in, um, you know, everyone loved him as a broadcaster. So um, we'll see how he is. We'll see how he is. And I, I think there'll be some growing pains. But, you know, and I think he'll, uh, I think Brady will, will do all right. And he's with Kevin Burkhardt, who I really like as a play-by-play -play guy. So, I, again, curious to see how, uh, how that goes. So, but let me know what you guys think about what Brady had to say on a potential comeback. Do you think he will find a way to come back, or is this all just to get people talking? Because, yeah, that, that's... Partly what this segment is is just uh, you know something to uh, something to talk about because again it, it uh, it's in regards to uh, the greatest quarterback of all time in my opinion um, I know a lot of people disagree with that my dad's uh, one of those people but I think from a resume standpoint and you know what he was able to do I mean yeah it might not have been the most talented but I I, I think you got to say he was the greatest of all time. Um, but we're going to talk about somebody, another all-time great in the next segment. We're going to talk about Aaron Rodgers and some of the things he had to say about his Achilles injury that ended his season last year and how there, it was a possibility that he might have retired. So we'll get into that when we come back from our first break. 
of the show. So with that being said, stick around and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast.